Labor Day weekend. Thank you for choosing us on this holiday weekend. I'm Jackie Kostak. And I'm Ross Dimite. It's always great to have you with us. Right now, police are cracking down all across the valley. They're hunting for drunk drivers on your streets. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey is live near the strip with the pros and cons of this holiday weekend. Sean. Well, Jackie Ross, Las Vegas depends on its tourists, but and there are more of them this year than there have been last Labor Day. But with every holiday comes drinking and uh, that can lead to more dangerous roads. They're all over an estimated 325,000 visitors coming to Vegas for Labor Day weekend. They come for many reasons. Talk to girls, talk about our feelings. It was just spontaneous. Definitely we're going to visit some nightclubs. To be completely honest, my parents said if I don't find a girlfriend this year, I'm kicked out of the house. So combined, the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority expects them to pump 235 million bucks into the economy, each one contributing a little or a lot. Perhaps, perhaps I'm helping a lot. Perhaps I'm helping a little bit of that. But the holiday prosperity <laughs> comes with risks the police are responding to in force. Andrew Bennett with Zero Fatality says the DUI strike team is out across the valley, fresh off their 900th suspected DUI arrest since October. Any holiday is a key consumption holiday, unfortunately. But it says last year there were a horrific 21 deadly crashes around Labor Day. The last four months, though, have seen a 20 to 40 percent decrease in traffic deaths compared to last year. This is one year that we have seen a decrease. Uh, but we're not hanging our hats on that. You know, we still lost, you know, at least one person and one is too many. Bennett says 26 Nevada police forces are working with every border state on overtime to keep those fatalities from spiking. We have the gut feeling that we are heading in the right direction because of this team. The right direction towards zero deaths over what they call the 100 deadliest days between Memorial and Labor Day. But it says in today's day and age, there is absolutely no excuse to drive drunk. Uber, Lyft, a sober friend. There are too many alternatives to get behind the wheel. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.